Sage Accounting tutorial, how to use Sage Accounting for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Sage Accounting, which is a super reliable tool for all your accounting needs. Sage has so many different products, whether you're trying to manage payroll and you're expanding your business and you need an HR system or a simple accounting system. Sage has all types of solutions for all types of businesses. Now, within their accounting software, Sage Accounting has multiple different plans. So when you're getting started with it, you, you can choose whichever one of the Sage Accounting plans is best for you. We're going to get our first three months and we have different plans and I'm just going to go with the accounting start and we're going to proceed with the free version. Now, if you want, you can add payroll as the add on. I'm just going to proceed and you do have to complete your basic information such as your email address and then a basic login now i'm just going to input my payment information but don't worry you don't get charged until your first three months are completed so now that our basic payment information has been completed we can proceed with our accounting start so we're going to proceed on to our sage account and this is what the sage business cloud is going to look like so we're just going to log on into our account over here and this is what the sage accounting software is going to look like now it's taking a little longer than usual for us to get logged on to sage i'm going to wait a couple of seconds so that this can completely be loaded up now over here i'm not going to set up 2fa for now and i'm just going to proceed on to my sage account and we're going to proceed with our first name and last name so i'm going to click on continue and once we've done that this is what our sage accounting tool is going to look like now in this we can see first off we're uh, going to be headed onto our basic dashboard then on the left we can click on go to accounting and we have all of our accounting features so the first thing you can do is actually go into settings and you can manage your account settings from there a lot of people do want to customize a lot of things within their accounting tools so you can proceed with customization of those particular you know features now what i am going to be doing we're going to go back into our basic business tool and we're going to get started with adding some of the basics which includes basic cash books contact and billing information so first off you want to go into contacts and you want to include different contacts onto your business or accounting tool because obviously you're going to be transacting so this you do need to confirm your address and your vat number before you can proceed with using the sage accounting tool to its fullest features but we're gonna just proceed over here and we're gonna add information about our business so the business name what type of business and then you're gonna click on next and after that you are going to add your address information then click on next and your telephone number is required so you are going to have to add that then after that you have to add your trading location and if your business is registered or not then after that you just have your summary and then you can go back into your dashboard and once you go back into your dashboard your basic summary has been saved now from here we can see a different look of our dashboard which is you know the fully functional look where we can see money in money out our total balance then customers outstanding invoices overdue invoices then on the top we have journals correct transactions vat returns business settings and other apps and connections then we have banking reports contacts cash books and summary now we're going to go into contact first to start adding our contacts on to sage and you can add suppliers or customers you can see two different buttons and you can import from a pre-existing list if you have any of those but we're going to add a new customer manually and let's say the business name is going to be olivia stone and we're going to add the contact as olivia and then after that we can add their email address their mobile information telephone address payment details so if you have their payment on hand you can add that as well as any additional notes and click on save once you click on save the contact will be added now if you want to add a supplier simply click on new supplier over here and once you click on new supplier, you can add the business name. Let's say it's going to be Meraki. And the contact name, let's say it's Kelsey. 
And after that, we can add their reference number, which is their account number, which is the deals that we have, but we're just going to add them as a supplier for now. Now, once we have added two different types of contacts, we can proceed with our cash book. So we can click on new entry and we can choose if we want to add money in or money out. And you can automate a lot of this. You can connect to your bank. You can start invoicing. You can improve your cash flow by tracking expenses. But this is the manual method where you just click on money in and you select which category this is. So let's say this is going to be, we're going to click on over here. We're going to take a look and this is going to be sales of services and we can provide the details so let's say this is going to be for our business we have consulting services that we sold and i want to add the total let's say 600 and then i'm going to add the total left to record you still have receipts left to record we can click on upload files and you can start uploading any of the receipts that are going to be you know related to those invoices then we're just going to go on over here you still have receipts left to record we're going to select our bank or cash let's say we receive this in cash and this is going to be selected as cash you can choose check electronic payment credit or debit card or paypal then after that you we have to enter the amount received is again 600 and then we're going to click on save and just like that our money in has been recorded in a really simple way now to proceed with the next step we can click on new entry and in the same way we're going to log money in and money out then we can click on bank account and cash so it's easier for us to filter what money we received in our business in the form of cash and what we received in our bank account directly now if i go into our next section which is our sales section this allows you to build invoices so you can click on new invoice and you have multiple different filters for invoices as well you can add a customer directly select the customer from the drop down menu add their invoice address and then below that you can select what type of category this is related to let's say this is the sale of products and we can add the description of the products as well now after you do that you will see a summary of all of the financial information that is present directly within your uh, summary section and you can even go into view tasks to build a task section for your business management so not only is this going to serve you as a simple finance manager but your finance manager can also ensure that everything is done completely on time in a efficient way so this is how you can get started with the accounting tool on sage i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries make sure to leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say have a great day ahead